The neutral plane method was developed by Flanius in 1984. Using this method, the neutral plane is identified through the use of load resistance curves and or settlement depth curves. The neutral plane method was originally developed to determine the amount of drag load and down drag associated with soft soil consolidating around deep foundation elements. This Flanius method was used for the AHTD TRC 1502 project to determine the amount of drag load and down drag of liquefied soil consolidating after liquefaction occurred in the deep soil deposits surrounding the deep foundation elements. To identify the location of the neutral plane, the point of intersection of the load and resistance curves must be determined within the load resistance plot. The load curve in the load resistance plot is created by starting at the top of the deep foundation element and adding the proposed unfactored structural load to the predicted cumulative unit skin friction as a function of depth from the top of the deep foundation element to the bottom of the deep foundation element. Likewise, the resistance curve in the load resistance plot is created by adding the predicted unfactored in bearing resistance to the predicted cumulative unit skin friction as a function of depth from the bottom of the deep foundation element to the top of the deep foundation element. Fellanius also used another method to identify the location of the neutral plane. The second method consisted of determining the point of intersection of the soil sediment curve and the foundation sediment curve within the sediment depth plot. This point corresponds with the location where the summation of the structural load and negative skin friction is balanced by the summation of the in bearing and positive skin friction. The neutral plane location should be located at the same depth regardless of whether the load resistance curves are used or the sediment depth curves are used.